Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson here. Uh, this is a lesson on something called transformations, okay? And in fact, you're gonna learn about four different kinds of transformations. So what I want you to do is I want you to take notes um, on the first couple pages, and then there'll be some problems for you to try, and then at the end you can see how you did. All right, so what exactly is a transformation? Okay, a transformation is a specific way to manipulate an object. So it's a specific way to manipulate an object. All right, and this object could be a point, line, or shape. All right, so anytime you hear the word transformations, realize that there's different types of transformations, okay? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you a key word for four different kinds of transformations, all right? So the first kind is called a translation, okay? And a translation, uh, I want you to write down the word slide, all right? If you look at this image, we have a happy face, and basically this happy face is just being slid this way, okay? So that's um, an example of a translation, where you take an object and you just move it a certain direction. All right, the second type of trans transformation is called a reflection, all right? And this one, I want you to write the word mirror. All right, so here it looks like we have like a little Pac-Man, okay? So this Pac-Man is being reflected across the, the Y axis, okay? And we'll get uh, into more depth about that later on. All right, the next uh, type of transformation is something called a rotation, okay? Um, and the keyword for this one is I want you to write circle. All right, when an object is rotated, normally it can go clockwise or counterclockwise. All right, I'll get into that uh, later on, okay? And last but not least, there's something called a dilation, okay? And a dilation is when an object is, the size of the object is changed, okay? So we're gonna write resize on here, all right? So again, let's take a look at our four different types of transformations. We have our translation, which is a slide. We have our reflection, I want you to think of a mirror. We have a rotation. I want you to think of an object moving kind of in a circle, okay? And finally, we have a dilation where an object is being resized, all right? So if you look at the next page, here we have four images, okay? And let's figure out which one of these images represents a translation, a dilation, a reflection, and a rotation, all right? So take a look at this first one. All right, if you notice, we have a blue triangle and then a red triangle. Well, it looks like this image is just being slid this way, right? So this one here is a translation. That's the first one, all right? The second one over here, we have the letter F, and it looks like the letter F is kind of being rotated this way, right? Kind of like in a circular motion, okay? So this one is a rotation. Uh, this one over here, we have the pre-image and then the image. And notice the triangle, right, is being increased in size. It's, it's the same shape, but it's a different size, right? So this is a dilation. All right, and last but not least, we have this image, and it looks like it's being reflected across the y-axis, okay? So this is a reflection. All right, I want you to try the your turn problems now. So when you pause the video, and then once you're done, hit play, you can see how you did. All right, good luck. All right, welcome back. Let's see how you did with these practice problems, okay? So here our first image, we have a shape, and it looks like the shape is just being moved this way, okay? Um, so this would be a translation. All right, this one down here, we have a large shape, 
and then the shape gets resized and becomes smaller, right? So that's a dilation. All right. This one over here, we have a shape and it looks like it's being rotated this way. So that's a rotation. And last, we have a shape here and another shape on the other side of this line. So that's going to be a reflection.